and gentlemen, Rugged Racer is open tonight. We're gonna be on the first ever public train in the front row. Let's go do this. Been documenting this coaster ever since it was being built. And now we're ready to ride. Last time I was in the station was for the Ace Event Daredevil Days. We are finally able to open front row. Let's do this. I can now safely say I have been on the first ever public train for Rookie Racer. I got my buddy Josh here. We're the only ones on it. What'd you think? It was a kiddie coaster. It was good. Yeah, it was, it was a kiddie coaster. I will say it was a lot better than I was expecting it to be. After documenting it for so long, getting to ride it was a blast. You don't have to go around twice. And there were some uh, sound effects playing by the ride, which I did not expect. We just did the front row, so we're going to go try the back row now. See how the back compares to the front. Just took a ride in the back, and Rookie Racer is 100%, in my opinion, a back row roller coaster. The drop was actually a lot better than I was expecting it to be in the back there was some good pull to it. And uh, the helix right here was uh, pretty forceful. Rookie Racer, I'd say thumbs up. Really solid ride here for sure. I don't know if it's better than Pandemonium, but as of now, I'm really impressed with this ride. It was uh, better than I expected it to be. And I figured I might as well get some footage of this right now because we have previews on it from six to nine tonight. So I'm gonna get some footage of it and then I'll go ride the boss because that's right here. <laughs> What do you think? I would have got on it with you earlier on that first ride if I didn't get stuck in traffic. And plus, you probably got here before I did. So. Yeah. But I am literally about to ride it for the first time. Yeah. Yep. So. I've done it uh, twice, which they did set it around uh, two times each time of the way. So I didn't think I had four rides on it already. Nice. I did a uh, very front and very back. I think the back is better, but we'll go try both and uh, we'll be able to get your opinion on which one you think is better. So where do you want to start? Front or back? I'll probably go to the back first. Back first? All right, let's go do it. Yeah. Back row first and then we'll go to the front. We just rode the back row and uh, Ellis, first time on it. What did you think? I got it on the back row on my very first time of soft opening day and it still whipped me off the lift hill. It was still pulling me fast a little bit. Yeah. Third, I think one of the helixes, it was just going slow a little bit, but other times we were going fast. So. Yeah. But, I liked it. Yeah, the drop was a lot better than I thought it would be. The helix, the with this uh, one towards the end here, that's uh, really good. I won't say I think the drop is the best part of the ride though, in the back row, because uh, there is a little bit of air time on it, which I wasn't expecting. I thought it'd be more of a gut punch. There's a little bit of air time to be had in this. So the back row solid, then we're gonna wait to the very front, and then uh, we'll be able to see what else thinks the best row on, whether it's the very front or very back. <laughs> Riding it up front, Ellis, front or back? Which road do you like better on this? I like the back better because I feel like it's 
way more faster in the back, especially that first drop. I agree with that. So I like it better. Yeah, I mean, uh, the front is still a lot of fun. I think uh, anyone could ride uh, anywhere in this train and really enjoy it, because it's not extreme at all by any means. Definitely the tamest ride at this park, I would say, in terms of coasters. But it did feel maybe a little bit sluggish in the front. I mean, I don't know. I think uh, this first turn actually think felt a little bit faster, I think, in the front. But uh, this helix right here, I think, is a, more, a little bit more intense towards the back. Rookie Racer, I think you should maybe try and do both if you can to get the full experience. But I mean, if you only have time to ride it once, which I know for a lot of you that's going to be the case, you want to ride it once, just do the back. It's the better experience, in my opinion, at least for right now. After riding a coaster that is meant for younger audiences, it's time to ride the best ride in the park, which is ironically Rookie Racer's next door neighbor. We have a train going on the last turn. And it's uh, yellow. So, you like the old running purple train right now with uh, guests in it. So, let's go take a spin on this one and see how this ride is. Rookie Racer low-key more enjoyable than Boss? Ellis, what'd you think of that? Like, I, I don't know. I think it's because the ride literally just opened tonight and we got new experience on there. Plus, that's a new credit for me. So. That is true, which we gotta figure out your total credit count at some point. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to start working on that. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely start working on that. I think over the offices we can maybe work on that. And yeah. uh, the reason why I said uh, Rookie Racer was looking more enjoyable than Boss is because, A, the ride up stapled me at Boss, like, really fast. So I got no airtime, but I actually did get some airtime on Rookie Racer's first drop. So, never thought I'd say this, but today I got more airtime on Rookie Racer than the Boss. Second, Rookie Racer absolutely spoiled me in terms of smooth because Boss was so much rougher by comparison. I think that's because it was rougher. Like, Boss was so much rougher than last week. Even though we were in the very front, it was not smooth. We'll come back later and get some night rides on, which is what we gotta do, but here's another one. Definitely not a smooth experience we had there on Boss. One thing I'm curious to know is how long will the line for Justice League be? I'm not sure how many people are actually at the park right now, but there's a good amount of people I think went over to Rookie Racer, but I've already ridden that eight times, and uh, Ellis said we've ridden it four. We're gonna see how long the line for Justice League is, and I'll see how we do, because uh, our marathon last week was phenomenal. So let's see if we can top that tonight. Not gonna lie, my first ride on Justice League was not one of my better opening rounds. It was a lot rougher than I was used to. Then again, I think it's because like I'm just not warmed up, and I uh, usually do a lot better on my first ride. Usually, I can get like six or seven hundred thousand with my second blaster, assuming I'm dual wielding. I only got four hundred thousand this time, so not great. Now I'm gonna try Mr. Freeze now because I haven't ridden it yet. that be boss for today that was really good that was something i might be coming back to but i don't know i think i'm gonna go do justice league a few more and then go to eagle and maybe do american thunder or batman although i don't know about that i do need to ride boss tonight too maybe get another ride on rookie racer and uh, get a night ride on it but i heard the line's long for it now which i got eight rides technically on it earlier so i don't need to ride it again right now but mr freeze was awesome <laughs> Maxed out Justice League again, and I think I'm gonna go try Boss again. Maybe do Rookie Racer at night, and then I'll go to Screaming Eagle because I do want to get a night ride on that. Plus, I did rope drop it earlier today, like I usually do. Since I did Rookie Racer first, obviously, it was my first rider on Eagle, but I do want to ride Eagle because uh, now that it's on Flash Pass, I've made it a point to ride every time I come here along with Boss and Freeze, which I've been doing past over years. There we go.
take it off. Even with Brooklyn Racer open, Screaming Eagle probably has the longest line of any coaster in the park still. My gosh. Thank goodness I have flash pass now so I can actually get on it quickly. Maybe I'm running one train on it because I've only seen blue train run today. I haven't seen the red train run at all. So if they're running just blue train, that would explain why the line is so long. Because Boss has two going. Breeze, I think, has one, but that's Breeze. He almost always has one. I haven't seen any other coaster run. Obviously, Rookie's got one train. But Rookie Racer, their crew is ridiculous. Like 30 to 45 second dispatches, that's pretty good. The moon is like pretty much almost directly behind the lift hill. So back in October, Last year, I got some bat rides where the moon was lighting up the track in the woods, which is a surreal experience. So let's see if we can could replicate that experience tonight. With the way the moon is positioned right now, I can tell this is going to be an epic night ride. It was uh, almost in the same exact position last year on some of my night rides. The little uh, track out in the woods was lit up by the moonlight. So this will be an awesome experience. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Ellis is about to ride this. He is not ready. That was unbelievable. The moon was lighting up almost the entire track. And oh geez, I almost tripped on whatever that one was right there, part of the pathway. Almost the whole ride, well, with the exception of the section of track leading to and from the turnaround next to the boss's lift hill, everything was lit up by the moon, which is a surreal experience. And it was so much fun. In fact, it was so good that I'm going a second time because you can't experience that every single day of your life. So yeah, that's worth a re-ride. Ellis. What did you think of that? The light from the moon shining on that part of the track was beautiful looking while riding it, man. I know. So I enjoyed it tonight. I know. And you actually said you got a night ride on Rookie Racer. What did you think of it? It was, it's, it's got a little darkness, but most some of it's also light, but I still enjoyed it. I wanted to sit in the back row, but the lady was assigning seats. Oh, there were assigning rows. Uh, I mean, to be yeah. fair, we got, we got our... We got to sit in the front and the back. Where'd you sit earlier? Yeah. Or, uh, on a recent ride, night ride. Where'd you sit on that one? I'm sorry. Where'd you sit on the night ride you got? I sat in the fifth row. Oh, it's like, okay, so pretty much towards the middle. It's all right, though. Yeah. I mean, we got rides in the front and the back earlier when there was basically no line, so. Yeah. I mean, you can't really complain there, but, uh, yeah, Screaming Eagle, Moonlight Night Rides. I don't know if Boss and I will be able to beat that. Want to go try and find out? Yeah. All right, let's head down that direction. Yeah. Boss was so much better just now than our ride uh, earlier. But I think that has to do with what train we were in. On our first ride, we were on the purple train. Just now, we got yellow train. I think that made a world of difference. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah, it was fast there and stuff. Like, I still got a good night ride on it. But tonight, I still think Eagle had the good shot tonight. Yep, Eagle was a better night ride just for tonight. Now, uh, I've seen Boss run better than Eagle in that before, but uh, tonight, one of the exceptions. Although I will say it was definitely a lot smoother than uh, our ride a little bit after the park first open. But I think both rides are really good. Oh my gosh, it is so foggy here. I can't really see anything. Oh man, so foggy out here. That was uh, definitely interesting. But uh, yeah, Justice League broke down. Right when we got in the building, I think it broke. So we're gonna go ride Mr. Freeze, do a couple laps on that. And then if we get off Mr. Freeze and Justice League reopened, I'm gonna marathon it until closing. Cause I'm only in three rides today and uh, should've done some more right about now. But to be fair, I was uh, over at Rookie Racer for a good, I don't know, hour or so. Let's. So I guess do freeze and uh, play it by ear, see what happens. Man, I do not know how to rank the top three coaches in the park in terms of how good they're running today. Our uh, most recent ride on Mr. Freeze was just ridiculous. And I think we might've made a mistake because we were going on to side A, which as you can expect is the train that usually gets the shortest line. But I think someone overheard us saying how side A gets a uh, shorter line. And I think a lot of people heard us. And so we might've made it so side A got the longer line instead of side B. I feel like that's the first else. what do you think? Yeah. It's just that when they heard us, they were like, that's a good idea. Let's go over there. So we don't want to wait that long. So Yeah, and then literally pretty much all of side A fell. Like, there was a couple train waits for every single row. And that's not usually the case with that one. But today's one of the exceptions. We actually got another one coming out to launch. So let's see if it makes it over the inverted top hat, which it was definitely made it over for us. Oh, yeah, that's over. No contest there. But that was just a really solid ride. Really intense as well, as usual. And this thing is just a beast. Now let's see if Justice League is reopened. And uh, if it is not, we might just do this again. That was one of the funniest rides I've had today. We ran into some people who are apparently one of the ride operators, like some of the other panel members. The ride operator said that uh, they could probably beat us. That just did not happen. I mean, they got bodied. Like, it wasn't even close. Like, Alice, we, we absolutely destroyed them. Yes, we did. Like, I mean, haven't they learned by now? We're going to destroy anyone who comes to these challenges. So if you think you can beat us, you're asking for trouble. Just saying.
usually I don't split up a marathon on Justice League, but I was trying to find some other people that I knew. They were nowhere to be found because I thought they were Mr. Freeze, but I guess they're not. So I guess back to Justice League for the last, I don't know, 30 minutes of the night. Got a couple double maxes on Justice League to end out my day, and uh, that concludes the Friday evening I had here at Pride Fest. Final ride count was 10 on Justice League, 8 on Rookie Racer. Technically speaking, I only rode Rookie Racer four times. If you've seen some of my other vlogs, you'll know that I count each lap that a kiddie coaster goes around as a separate ride. Because each ride went around twice, I counted as two separate rides, so that's why I say I got eight rides. I got 10 Justice League, 8 Rookie Racer, and then two on Boss, Mr. Freeze, and Screaming Eagle. Highlights for the day? I mean, I think we all know what the biggest highlight was. Obviously getting the first public train of Rookie Racer, which ever since I was documenting it and I found out the route was gonna be opening soon, I was really excited to hopefully be the first rider on the front row of Rookie Racer, the first public rider, and I managed to get that to happen today. So that was really, really cool. And uh, I'm getting a couple double maxes, but that's a uh, less important highlight today, as weird as it may sound, but it is. And then uh, getting those moonlit screaming eagle night rides, which, uh, yeah, those are always awesome to experience. Yeah, that pretty much wraps up this vlog. Before I click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else. I know. If you're new to this channel and like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for pictures I take whenever I visit parks, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later.